What's up guys? I am back with another highly requested video. This one, however, is a bit of an overdue one. Um, if you've been following me on Instagram for a while, you know that at some point in, last, in the last year, I used to rock a dual stack monitor layout. Um, it was amazing for my creative workflow. I had a 32 inch monitor for reference on top and then I had the super ultra wide 49 inch at the bottom which I could put my timeline on and edit videos and edit my pictures and everything. But recently I've kind of switched that up and turned into a T layout which is more suitable for my professional workflow. But while I had that dual stack monitor layout, I had a lot of questions about how I set that up, you know, how I, I found a monitor arm that supported a super ultra wide 49 inch because those tend to be a lot heavier than your average monitor. So not every monitor arm has that type of support, you know, how I made them stacked up and look clean and all that. So what I wanted to do is kind of just walk you through how I configured my monitor arm. I used a company called Human Scale, which allows you to custom build your monitor arm layout and there's plenty of options that you can use on there so all of the options can sometimes get overwhelming so i kind of just wanted to walk you through step by step of how i did that right off the bat i just want to say this video is not sponsored by human scale this is just simply me just walking you through of how i set up my monitor arm i've had this monitor arm for the past you know three or four years now and it's built in such a customizable way that you know i can have a stack layout i can have this t layout so i've been enjoying it so far however this video is sponsored by another company trade more so let's just hop into a quick message from them and then we'll get back into the configuration so i wanted to take a quick moment to thank today's video sponsor trade more if you're looking into upgrading to a new phone and want to get value out of your older devices, Trademore is an amazing resource to check out too. All you have to do is go to trademore.com forward slash sell and answer a few questions about the device that you wanted to trade in and get an instant quote. Once you confirm the quote, they'll send you a shipping box with prepaid label and some shipping instructions. Follow the instructions, send in your phone for evaluation and wait for your money to come in. It's that easy. Now let's move back to the video. So to give you a visual cue of what the mount looks like, uh, I have the base and the additional extended pole to go higher enough that I can stack another monitor on top of the 49 inch. And then the, I have the, the monitor mount with a single monitor arm and then identical another mount with a monitor arm as well. Now the special thing about these mounts is that you can add additional monitor arms on top of them. So hypothetically speaking, I could have four monitor arms stacked on top but that's just too much for me. But it's nice to know that the ecosystem is extensible to whatever needs that I have. So at this point, if you don't wanna watch the rest of the video, I linked a PDF at the description. You can just download that and just copy the same codes and just go through the checkout yourself. Um, but now I'm just going to walk you through how I set it up on the website and you can just follow along if you want to. Well, let's get there. What you wanna do is go to human scale under products, pick monitor arms and integrated docs. Now, if you're looking for a single monitor arm and not looking for the configuration, you can either go for the M2.1, M8.1 or M10. Uh, you can see the amount of pounds that they can support per each weight class. But if you're looking to create the configuration that I created, you wanna go with the M flex option. When you get there, customize your own. And then here you want to pick M flex for M8.1. Now I went with M8.1 because like I said, uh, the M2.1 is more suitable for average monitors, which means that it won't be able to support the, the uh, 49 inch. So I went just with M8.1 just to be safe. Now the first bracket style that you want to pick would be, a, so I picked a dual bracket for two monitors which gives you that additional um, extensibility so you can add another arm if you wanted to, or you could go with a dual bracket for one monitor, which just allows you to put a single monitor. You want your mount to be a two piece clamp with base, so which is the standard one. You can pick the color to your own liking. I like black, so I went with the black trim. Now the arm style that I went with was actually the eight, eight inch straight link dynamic link. Now you can change that to a 
12 inch, which gives you a longer arm, as you can see in the picture, but eight inch would just do just fine. That's pretty much standard. Um, and then you want your arm and style to be just a st standard monitor tilt. Now you can pick a crossbar if you wanna put two monitors on like side by side, but that's not what we're going for, so I just went with the standard. And this is pretty standard too. Um, most monitors support 100 millimeter by 100 millimeter base amount. Um, what I would do is probably check with the type of monitor model models that you're planning on going and make sure that they support it. If not, they, as you can see, they support a, a wide variety of plates and uh, mounts. Now the post height, I went with an extended post, as I mentioned earlier. So I went with the, the 24 inch high post. You can go even higher and all the way up to 60, 36 inch but I don't think that's gonna be that necessary. I think 24 inch is more than enough. Now in the second row, you, you get to add a second arm. So we add M8.1 and then the configuration would be exactly the same. So it will be a, either a dual bracket for one monitor or dual bracket for two monitors. As you picked on the first one, you can pick one of them to be one and the other one to be two. It's up to you. Eight, ar eight, in um, eight inch straight arm dynamic link again. This is a standard T monitor. T this is a T standard monitor tilt. Again, a hundred by hundred black plate, anything. And that's what you would have. And that's pretty much it guys. And like I said, so I have this as a downloadable PDF. You can go and just copy those codes so you can pick, you know, B for base of bracket, T for arm and style, N and all, whatever. Um, and yeah, I do have an affiliate code with them which will give you a 20% discount on your purchase. So feel free to use that as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to comment. If there's any other questions that you had, I'll be happy to answer them. But until the next one, peace.